Hi, so today I'm experimenting with acrylic underpainting um, under just an oil portrait study that I did. So yeah, here I'm just prepping my palette and my canvas. Um, I'm mixing just the most prominent skin tones. My palette from left to right consists of titanium white, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, alizarin crimson, um, some cadmium red, some ultramarine blue, and some sap green. Although I didn't end up using the sap green really until later in the painting when I needed some more bold, bold hues. But yeah, here I am. I'm starting my charcoal transfer, so enjoy. So here I've just finished up with my underpainting. Um, it went pretty smoothly. I ended up doing it in acrylics just so that the oil paint didn't get muddy with the new paint because I didn't really have time to you know, wait the four or five days it takes for it to dry enough to put more paint on top of it. But I've never done that, but it ended up working out pretty well. Uh, right here I'm going in with my first blocks of color in oil. Um, looking back on it now, I kind of wish that I had put a little bit more pigment, specifically yellow ochre, in a lot of the highlights and lighter tones that I'm doing, because as you can see, it's kind of washed out white and it makes it kind of look flat, but that'll be something that I hope to improve upon next week, but other than that, the beginning of the oil process went pretty smoothly.
So right here, I was definitely getting a little tired. Um, I had already gone through the whole process of smoothing it out too much and then trying to restore it to how chunky the colors were, if you will, in the beginning. Um, I was in desperate need of a bagel break, which is why you see the camera angle change. But yeah, other than that, it, I was pretty much satisfied with the overall piece. It was definitely more of a study than it was a finished work of art. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I also realized that I forgot to mention that if you'd like to see or read like a more in-depth synopsis of exactly how my process went and how I researched and got into underpainting in the first place, I've linked below the blog that I'm writing with every piece that I do, so if you're interested in that, go check that out. But otherwise, stay tuned because next week I'm going to be experimenting with temper paint, which I've never done before. So this piece, hopefully for me, served as a good introduction for that because of its kind of study-like nature because I'm planning on doing the temper paint in a more blocky, more um, modern style, if you will, or impressionist. But yeah, stay tuned for that and thank you for watching.